Good morning, Duke fans. I'm Shannon Chavez with Duke's All Access. Joining me today is head football coach Jerry Schmidt with a weekend preview. Hey, Coach Schmidt, how's it going? It's going great. That's good. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a while since the Dukes have played at home after two bye weeks and two games on the road against tough opponents. They're finally back this weekend. Uh, what are your thoughts heading into uh, this weekend against West Liberty? Well, you mentioned about you know how long it's been since we played at home, and actually, uh, you know, we're just happy to play some football games here in a row. Obviously, with West Liberty this week. Uh, we've been practicing about nine weeks or so, and we've only played three games. It was a really different schedule this year with the two bye weeks uh, coming in September. Uh, we're happy to be back here at home. We're excited about it. Um, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to play in front of our fans, and we have two in a row here mm -hmm. on the bluff, so we're looking forward to it. This is the first meeting between the Dukes and West Liberty since 2006, so what are your expectations of the Hilltoppers this year? Well, they're a really good football team. They're, they've got a program that's been to the NCAA playoffs in past years, and uh, it's a challenge for us. Uh, it's a close game. They're you know located an hour away from Pittsburgh here, so uh, we know some of their guys, and they have some local guys, and do a great job. And they're very athletic, and you know they play at the, pretty much the top of their conference every year. So mm -hmm. we're looking forward to the challenge. Okay, and uh, rookie quarterback Dylan Beekle has thrown for nearly a thousand yards in just three games since the start of his collegiate career. So, what can you say about his progression since training camp? Well, he's getting better with every day and every snap since he got here last year and worked through his redshirt year. And um, you know, he's had a good start statistically. Obviously, uh, he's a competitor. I'm going to tell you. You ask him, and the only stats that matter is the fact that we're one and two. He wants to be three and zero. Oh, and he doesn't care about the yards and all that stuff. He wants to win football games, and that's the best part about him. And the way he handles himself on the field is really impressive. And we're looking forward to him to continue to get better each and every snap and work with his receivers. Well, Beekle's been connecting with wide receiver Gianni Carter in each game. Uh, Carter could be the first Duke with four consecutive 100-yard games after this weekend. Uh, what can you say about his performance? Well, you know, Gianni's a talented young man, and he's uh, uh, coming off a all-conference season last year and uh, st started right off the season the same way um, with his explosiveness and his ability to catch balls. But probably the best part about him is his experience and the way he handles the young receivers that he works with. And also he's a help to Dylan uh, with the offense and understanding the reads and getting their timing done. It's great to have him. He's such a good kid, works really hard at it. So I think it's a good combination for our, you know, Johnny and for Dylan to work together. Okay, and like you said, we have two games in a row at home uh, this weekend and next. Homecoming is fast approaching. What's the preparation like going into a game against defending NEC champion Wagner on the 12th for such a big game? Well, you know, for us, we're looking for this week, mm -hmm. and that's uh, we're not looking past at all. Uh, in the big picture, obviously, we we love the opportunity to play at home against a defending champion. Uh, homecoming, we know the place will be packed. It'll be exciting, all kind of excitement here on the bluff. So we're looking forward to that. But right now, it's Saturday. It's on our mind, and we'll deal with that next week. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Coach. Uh, I've really missed you guys, so I'm looking forward to this weekend. We miss you also. <laughs> okay, good luck. Okay, thanks. Thank you.